Hello and welcome in the third lesson on the data mining and discovering with OpenRefine. So, in this lesson, in the previous lesson, we've been through text-based, date and number-based uh, faceting filtering, and we briefly touch how we can combine and see multiple facets together. This lesson, we will really see how you can invert the selection to, see, to select everything but a certain values, how you can combine facet to create and condition. So I want everything that is apple and oranges. Or I want to select everything which is apple or oranges. So let's go back in our data um, building permits project and look at uh, the status type and create a text facet. So here, let's say we want to see all the permit except the refused one. So if I select uh, refused, it displays the seven matching rows for that entry. But here I see at the top of my facet, I've got an invert option. When I select the invert option, it will cross the refused, turn the seven into a minus seven, and show the 37,000 89 matching rows, which is everything but the refused value. So very easily go back to the include mode by clicking the invert. So let's say, so resetting it by excluding the refuse. Let's say now we want to select every permit that is approved or issued. So I select all the approved. If I click issue directly, refine switch values and display all the issue. Here I see if I over on approved, on the side I see an include option. If I select it, it will select all the records that are either approved or issued. Here it's 109 matching rows. Now let's uh, look at the end condition. So in this case, I want all the permits that are closed, so completed during the year, but also that only are building permits for new buildings. So if I create a new facet for permit type and select new building, I will display the on, only the 117 rows that are closed and new building. Here you can see that facet refresh automatically uh, depending on your selection. So if I select, for example, new houses, I say that the different status for new houses are cancelled, closed, and permit issued. If I go back to new building, we only have closed and cancelled. So now let's go crazy and start to add multiple facets together and say I want all the permits that are new building over 10 units with a closed status and who have been um, completed after July 30, 2014. So I already have selected all my closed permit for new building. Now I want to select all that are over 10 units. So I go to my dwelling units. It is converted to number first, create a numeric facet. So I don't want the blank and I want everything over not 20 but 10. So here I've got only 17 matching rows and then going to the completed date turning the completed date to a date format, 
creating a timeline facet and selecting everything after July 30, 2014. So here we have uh, five matching rows, matching our four conditions. So you can create as many uh, facets you want. Uh, if you add too many facets, uh, you will have a scroll that will appear so you can just navigate uh, through your facet. Two button at the top, reset all, remove all. Uh, reset all will undo all your selection but keep the facet uh, created in the column. So here I just go back to all my selection are undone whereas remove all will clear all the facet and let you start with a fresh um, panel.